Horus and Morris, but mostly Dolores by James Howe, illustrated by Amy Walrod. Horus and Morris, but mostly Dolores, loved adventure. They sailed the seven sewers. They climbed Mount Everrust. They dared to go where no mouse had gone before. Horace and Morris, but mostly Dolores, never said, there is something we shouldn't do, they said. This is something we've got to do. And so there was almost nothing they didn't do. Horace and Morris and Dolores were friends, the greatest of friends, the truest of friends, the now and forever, I'm yours sort of friends. And then one day, Horace and Morris had a decision to make. They didn't want to do anything without Dolores, but as Horace pointed out, a boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do. But you can't say that three times real fast, Dolores said with a smile. Horace and Morris didn't even try. They didn't even smile. Goodbye, Dolores, they said. Mega mice, no girls allowed. What kind of place doesn't allow girls? Dolores wondered as she watched her friends step through the door of the mega mice clubhouse. Yikes. Downhearted, Dolores went on her way alone. It wasn't long before Dolores had a decision to make. She didn't really want to do anything without Horace and Morris, but she figured a girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. She said this aloud three times real fast just to prove that she could. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. A girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. I'll bet Horace and Morris couldn't do that, she thought. But she wasn't smiling as she stepped through the door of the Cheese Puffs Clubhouse. The Cheese Puffs, no boys allowed. Today's project, Gifts for Mother Made for Monster. Day after day, Dolores went to the Cheese Puffs. Day after day, Horace and Morris went to Mega Mice. They missed playing with each other, but as they said, a girl mouse must do what a girl mouse must do. A boy mouse must do what a boy mouse must do. Have a nice day. Horace and Morris and even Dolores were sure their friendship would never be the same. But then one day, Dolores made a different decision. I'm bored, she announced. The other girls stared. Anybody here want to build a fort? How about a roke fort? <coughs> the other girls booed. Okay, forget the cheese. I'm sick of making things out of cheese anyway. Let's go exploring. The other girls gasped. Phooey, said Dolores. I quit. If you quit, then I quit too, a small voice from the back of the, said a small boy, voice from the back of the room. Today's topic for discussion, how to get a fella using mozzarella. Outside, Dolores introduced herself. I'm Dolores. I'm Cloris, said the girl. Now where can we go to have some real fun around here? Dolores thought and thought. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got it, she said at last. Who wants to go exploring? With girls? Yuck, no way. I do. Me too. Can I come too, please? The five friends spent the rest of the day exploring. Cloris and Boris and Horace and Morris. But mostly Dolores. And the next day, they built a clubhouse of their own. 
The Frisky Whisker Club. Everyone allowed.